New at 6, a Palolo landowner is calling a community meeting to tackle the topic of dangerous rockfalls. The ridge above Palolo Valley was the site of one high-profile rockfall in January that nearly hit a homeowner. There were several others shortly after that. KITV4's Diana Co finds out what's being done so far and why this may be a rocky road to get safer slopes. There were three dangerous rockfalls on Oahu this year. This one in Caroline Sasaki's home on January 28th, missing her by inches. Peter Savio owns about 60 acres of the ridge in Palolo Valley, including the land where the rock came loose and rolled into Sasaki's home. Within days of this happening, we had called the geologist and a rock mitigator. We were able to get them up onto the hillside um, to take a look. The professionals found several rocks posing a high risk. Salvio paid $100,000 to have them secure the rocks. They bolt them in or chain them in so they cannot fall. The work should be done by the end of this week, but that's just temporary. The actual rock mitigation for the whole hillside would probably run in the five to 10 million range. Savio is calling a community meeting for people who live in Palolo Valley and neighboring valleys on March 25th. Let's look for solutions. Let's express our concerns and see if we can't come up with a solution. He says the answers generated here could help the whole state, pointing out there were three rockfalls in 10 days this year. Besides Sasaki's near miss, there was this one on Kamehameha Highway near Waimea Bay on February 5th. And on February 8th, a rock smashed through the wall into the bedroom where IAEA homeowner Tyler Ramelb and his wife were sleeping. It's not a Palolo problem, it's an island-wide problem. You know, we've been lucky that more people haven't been killed by rocks coming down. Meantime, Savio says there is no upside to owning a ridge, you can't develop it, and a case like this makes it a liability. You were saying, if there's anybody who wants a free ridge, you're willing to hand over the ownership. If somebody wants it, they can have it. Peter Savio from Urban Forest, thank you so much for talking to us. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.